Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Wonderful World of Aluna. And I did some work off camera around the warehouse here. Put a whole slew of chests in and the shelves here. Signs to label what's in all the chests. Um, kind of did a little bit of redecorating there in my office. Threw a wall in, threw a door in. Uh, I also went down to some caves and died numerous times, but I got enough meats to make myself a travel net outside of the warehouse and one in the castle. So I can save myself some time traveling back and forth there. Did a little bit of landscaping, pulled out a few trees. Uh, nothing too major. Threw in some more of the floor of the church, or the eventual church. Um, and that's where we're going to pick this up. I had initially been planning to do a video on getting the Mies for the travel nets. Uh, however, that was not to be, as I died multiple times. And uh, turns out I wasn't recording the video. I thought I was, but clearly I never hit the record button in the software because I finished up, was doing my outro, and looked in horror to discover that there was nothing recorded. It was a pretty horrible moment, not gonna lie. So, there will not be a video on finding the Mies. Sorry. Uh, what there will be a video on, though, is doing some small things here. I guess maybe I don't want that. I don't know how far out the church is going to go. So I'll just leave that without for right now. Um, let's see, your garden is flourishing. That's good. We need to get a lot more dirt from my warehouse and bring up the elevation. And we need a lot more of this stone to build the walls. Yeah, let's go back to the warehouse and get some stuff. Uh, let's see here. First off, I'm going to put the marble away. Unfortunately, this isn't really in any kind of order, so that makes it a little difficult. I'm going to collect all the dirt up because I'm going to need a lot of that, I feel. Um, ba -ba. And I think that's really it that I need to gather. I don't know if I need more. No, I won't need pine because I'm going to be digging down some trees. I will grab some cobble, though. Uh, yeah. Because I'm going to need that to make some tools, I think. When I went on my explorations finding the Meese, I stupidly brought all my steel with me. And then I died. And then I couldn't find my bones at all. So then I pretty much was in a pickle and had no steel. So I also have no armor anymore. And I know there is a, a building in spawn someplace that has tons of armor sitting in it. But I couldn't remember which building it was. And I wasn't going to use my limited amount of steel that I do have to make armor right now. So I'm rolling without armor. But I think that's okay. I should survive here. I'm not going anywhere too crazy. Just pulling down some trees in the dark of night. Because, well, there's no better time to do work like this. When it's dark and it's hard to see what's going on. Yeah. But that's actually, I think, the only one I have to clear out. What I want to do is build the ground up here. Now, this is going to be a little outdoor garden kind of thing. And it's going to be... Why can't I? Oh. I don't know why that moss doesn't disappear when you dig the trees. It's going to be 
a little garden for the the priests or monks or whichever religion owns this castle and the temple that we're working on. Uh, it's going to be a little place for the religious persons to kind of just have a small garden to grow themselves some food so they don't starve in the event that they become unpopular with the people who then decide they're not going to give them any food. So, you know, they're just they're looking out for themselves. They're being smart. You know, they're like, well, popular opinion might turn against us at some point. Like when we tell people they should give us more stuff, they might be like, you know what? These guys always want us to give up. These guys always want us to give them stuff. And we don't feel like giving them stuff anymore. So we're just not gonna. And then they'd all starve. But if they have their own little garden, they won't starve. So that's basically the idea here. To keep people from starving. It's a very humanitarian effort. Okay, so that should give them more than enough space for a garden, I think. And I'm not really sure how they're going to have access to this yet, because they're definitely not putting a door in this wall. Especially not going to the church. That would... That'd be the worst thing ever. So we have that. Um, I need stone, don't I? Because this is made with stone and cobble. I'm going to have to go get some, I think. I'm not sure why these leaves have not decayed away. Like, die, you stupid things. Well, let me go grab some more cobble. Even though I have to walk a little bit out of my way to use that travel net, it's so much faster than swimming through all the water. No, not basalt. I just want some cobble. Uh, a couple stacks, actually. Like that should be enough, I think, for now. Maybe I should grab the uh, the table saw out of here too, and bring it someplace to the castle. Uh, yeah, let's just cook down a stack. She'll have to do two stacks. Had some coal in there. Whoops! Didn't want to do that. I wanted to click on the furnace. Alright, so we got cobble cooking down. We've got trees not decaying for whatever reason. And I don't know how much more this is going to be the floor of the church. I kind of do need to figure that out, I guess. But from here coming out... I guess this tree needs to go bye-bye. There's a lot of trees that need to get removed. Fortunately, uh, it gives me lots and lots of wood. Which is good. Because I do need that to build things. Though I must say, I wish I had a little more variety than just all pine trees. Like, it would be nice to have some other colored woods to use as well. But that'll come in time, I suppose, when I get some other materials, I can make some other colored houses and stuff. The, uh, the farmer's huts will easily be something other than pine. Well, maybe not. I don't know how prominent pine wood is out here. It might be all these forests are made of. In which case, everybody's going to have everything out of pine wood. Which is going to look super plain and repetitive. Is there like a piece of wood in here I missed? Why aren't these going away? No, I didn't miss a trunk in that. And these things bug me. This moss. Like, why is it not an attached item? That way it would at least disappear when you dig the trunk out. Oh well, as I build the wall over, I'll get that stuff dug off. Dug off and out and away. 
see how this is coming along. Excellent. Beautiful. Let's... I forget if it's this way or if it's the other way. I can never remember. It's the other way. Woohoo! Okay, let's put a few more piles in there and take this stuff out. Alrighty! Let's go do some building! Um, first things first, I really want to get rid of this dirt. Because that just looks super gross. And unprofessional, I might add. And I just... I can't see a fancy church having something that would look like that. There we go. Alright. Stairway up. Which really needs to be built into a stairway at some point. And over we go. And honestly, I don't know why I didn't just start on the ground, because I can't reach down far enough. Or maybe I can. It still would have been easier to start on the ground, though. Yeah, I couldn't reach. Well, wahoo for me. Dumb leaves, get out of here. Go home, you're drunk. As the comic goes, an egg. An egg from a chicken. Or was it? We shall never know. Could have been some from mystic being. But I'm pretty sure it was a chicken. Okay, so this castle wall uh, is going out pretty far. And the ground this direction is definitely very usable in line with this tree trunk. So, I'm wondering if maybe it wouldn't be uh, feasible to do something like this. I would have to dig out a bunch of dirt here, but that's nothing new. Like, I've been digging a lot of stuff since first episode. Yeah, and then they could have something different over here. Like, the castle has enough other turns and twists in it. Why not add some more in? Especially because it'll let me get a much larger area for the actual castle. Which is good. Because I need that. Alright, so that'll go out. I'll just... Dig some of this out with my shovel real quick. Just so I know what I'm dealing with. Alright, so I'll have that. Um, I don't know what I'll put there. I guess I really don't know what I'm going to put in a lot of places. That'll go out. Actually, I wonder... I wonder if it would almost make more sense to put the the garden on. Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It makes no difference at all what side the garden's on. So the garden gets extended to here, and it keeps going straight. So I need a lot of dirt to fill that in. Bum, bum, bum. Now, I know what somebody's going to say. Maybe they actually won't. I don't know. But, uh... There may be those people that would like to help with the construction of this grand building. To which I would have to say sorry, but no. Um... Once I do get the travel net set up, which, again, I have to figure out who to talk to about that um, I mean if people wanted to come chop down trees and excavate dirt that would be cool but they'd kind of have to know oh um, they'd kind of have to know where everything's going which if they watch the video series I guess they would know and uh, honestly if they didn't watch the video series they 
probably wouldn't even think to do any kind of excavating or placing of dirt. So I guess uh, it actually would be very possible if you were so inclined to come out here. Uh, just kind of removing all the trees going this way and stuff going this way back to I don't know maybe I'll go to like back here or something quite a way I suppose and then leveling the dirt here so it's all the same level um, yeah I guess that could be pretty fun turn it into a community project why not right and then people could be like hey you know those videos from that famous youtuber I know I am like really very presumptuous about this all calling myself famous and such but they could be like yeah I helped build his castle settlement thing and it would be like cool bragging rights so I don't know maybe maybe that's something we'll do but maybe I don't know there's a lot of ramifications. That is a very nice looking wall though. I'll have to put just some little something here. I don't know, maybe a small pub. Or, uh, I don't know. I really have no idea. Some small shop. Maybe they like a little, uh, little tourist shop. You know, they sell little trinkets, stuff that this settlement creates, or a little, uh, a little food place. You know, with some, some burgers and fries, tasty little tidbits like that. Probably not burgers and fries. That would be very unauthentic for the time period. Well, that, I think, is going to wrap up this episode. I'm trying to keep them to, like, a manageable length, you know? So thanks for watching. Uh, shortly, I should have the travel net in place. Actually, by the time this video goes live, the travel net will be in the spawn center, hopefully. And then you can come out and visit, and... Yeah, if you want to help excavate dirt and place dirt to level the land, I would appreciate it. Uh, it's kind of dull, boring, and monotonous. But yeah, I mean, it could be done. Or uh, possibly even, depending on scheduling and stuff, if you want to come on for a mumble chat, because I now have mumble, and I'm almost starving. I'll have to eat something before next episode. Uh, I just, totally random, but I just noticed that I'm down to one apple of food. But yes, uh, be sure to tune in next time, and we will be doing something. I don't know what, but probably working on some more construction stuff.